Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to talk about is the Gary Yamamoto Senko the best lure of all time, specifically a Texas rigged one. It is probably the most versatile technique. It allows me to do a bunch of different things. We're going to talk about why this might be one of the best lures of all time for bass fishing if you're ever just looking to catch some fish. So stay tuned and let's get right into it. So why is the Gary Yamamoto Senko the best lure of all time? It's just because it always catches fish. No matter where you go, no matter where you're fishing, what you're fishing for, some form of a Gary Yamamoto Senko will absolutely just catch fish. There's been more tournaments that I've fished in where I cannot figure out how to get a bite and I just tie on a Senko and go fishing anything that looks good. The Texas Rig Senko especially is probably one of the greatest baits of all time because of how versatile it is and also where you can fish it. So today we're gonna to be fishing some docks, but this also works in grass. It does excellent doing that kind of stuff. It fishes through any type of cover. I've caught fish on wood, docks, and grass on a Texas Rig Senko. We're gonna be using it weightless. It's one of the best ways to do it, especially on calm, sunny days where those fish very, aren't very active. You just throw it up there and let the shimmy do the work. I have it on a 3 aught Gamagatsu Superline hook here. It adds just enough weight, but it's not too big that it kills the action of the bait. It still lets that bait have a lot of action and draw those fish in. We have 10 pound test fluorocarbon leader here tied to suffix 832 lime green braid. It allows me to see when a fish has picked this bait up or if it's on the bottom and make sure I get a good hook set. And then I just have this on a seven foot medium spinning rod with a 2000 size spinning reel. Super simple setup, uh, but let's talk a little bit about the versatility of this bait. So this bait can do a ton of things Texas rigged. I've caught fish on some shallower grass flats by putting a little eighth ounce weight in front here on a bait caster with 15 pound test fluorocarbon and just dragging it on the bottom and fishing it for spawning fish on grass flats or other stuff like that. Um, just lightweight Texas rig fishing. I've caught a ton of post spawn fish up on Cayuga Lake fishing eight foot grass flats with that technique. Um, going down to Florida, I've thrown stuff like a quarter ounce and skipped around docks and fished docks that are in a little bit deeper water in like 8 to 10, 12 foot of water and be able to catch them with a quarter ounce weight and fish around docks like that. And then one of my favorite ways down in Florida also to catch them, you can put it on a 3 eighths ounce or even a half ounce weight and peg it with a flipping hook and you can actually flip heavier grass mats with it and actually catch a bunch of fish doing that. It's something that not a lot of fish see because everyone wants to flip beavers and creature baits, but you can put it on a Texas rig and it'll catch a ton of fish doing that as well. It's still just a stick worm at the end of the day and catches a bunch of fish. So we're going to go out on the water. We're going to hopefully catch some fish on this and show you how effective this bait can be, but just the versatility of this bait is amazing. Um, I keep it really simple, five inch Gary Yamamoto Senko green pumpkin and black and blue are my two favorite colors that's what i use pretty much all the time uh, but i carry a bunch of the gary yamamoto colors just because i use this bait so much i have baby bass i have watermelon red i have uh, the watermelon green pumpkin candy one that's like the purple and green glitter in it um, you can get a little fancy with colors on these if you want to or you can just go straight green pumpkin and black and blue and it will always catch fish it is one bait that catches fish probably everywhere in the country and is super versatile i know a lot of people say always throw a jig and you always catch fish throwing a jig anywhere in the country but i honestly believe that the senko might outfish a jig any day of the week it works pretty much everywhere in the country. So let's head out on the water, catch a couple fish with this thing. So we have our weightless Texas rig Senko here. We're gonna try and show you how effective this bait can be and why the Senko might be the greatest bait of all time, specifically Texas rig. But I would make an argument that the Senko is probably the greatest lure ever created. It catches fish when nothing else will. We have a super, super tough day of fishing today. I mean, we have literally caught three bass in like three hours out here on a place that I've been catching 15 to 20 even if they're little ones in like one pass down through here so these fish have definitely moved or they've just gotten tougher to bite so hopefully we can pull off a couple fish catches with our texas rig senko right here we have a weightless we're fishing some docks number one way i like to fish it i just literally cast it out there let it sink down to the bottom and then see if one grabbed it on the fall super effective way to fish the Senko, but I can also pitch it to grass clumps that are in between the docks or any pieces of wood or literally anything I could find that potentially might hold a bass. That's what I'm gonna be casting it at. I'm literally just gonna throw it at any good target that looks like it. Oh, there could be a bass there. That's where you're gonna wanna throw it and you're just gonna wanna let it sink. Fish it nice and slow. That's the best way to fish the Senko. Just let the Senko do the work. It'll catch fish for you. It always, always, always works. I have never found a place where a Senko has not caught fish and it works every time for me. That was a little bluegill right there. But if there's bluegills, 
there's bass around. The biggest problem we're having today is that there's been a huge algae bloom uh, and the water's gone up 10 degrees where I've been fishing. So these fish have definitely uh, probably moved on to their new home for the summertime, but that doesn't mean we still can't pick a few off with the Senko. You might not be able to get them with some other baits, but the Senko will definitely catch a few fish. And that is why I believe that it's the greatest lure of all time. When the fishing is tough, if this bait will catch fish when nothing else will, that ranks number one in my book. There it is. It's a good one too. Come here, you. Perfect. Skipped right up under that shaded dock up there. Got me a two pounder. On the old Texas rig Senko. Super tough day of fishing still produces fish no matter what way you rig it but specifically on a texas rig i always catch fish on a texas rig senko specifically a weightless one too we're skipping these docks number one way i love to catch fish we're gonna go ahead and let him go he's pretty feisty but we're gonna go ahead and let him go and like i said in my book nothing beats a texas rig senko this thing catches fish no matter where you're at what time of year however you want to rig it but specifically on a Texas rig, I have caught more bass and more big bass on a Texas rig Senko than anything else. On the toughest day of fishing, I can always get a bite on a little Yamamoto Senko here. So that, to me, ranks this as probably one of the greatest bass lures of all time. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video talking about how effective and how great this Yamamoto Senko is. And if you wanna see some tips on how to wacky rig this thing to catch even more fish on it, go check this video out right here. Hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss any more of my videos coming up and hit the like button. Thanks for watching.